This video is proudly sponsored by Newtype. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewtypeHQ.com and use the link below to help this channel out for future builds. Hey, what's going on my dudes and dudettes and welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Kotobukiya. So why don't we get started with the 172 scale Wynark NX04 White Gellet from the popular video game franchise Armor Core. So without further ado, let's get to it. Yo, welcome back my dudes and dudettes to another unique build from the good folks from Kotobukiya. And if this is your very first time onto this YouTube channel, welcome. So the year was 1999, Sega just finally unveiled a next generation console with a slew of awesome launch title games, but in the darkness, PlayStation was about to unveil their next generation system, the PlayStation 2. Now around that time, I had no interest in playing the PlayStation system, but it had a slew of great release games, Tekken Tag Tournament, Ridge Racer, to name a few, but the one series that caught my eye was Armor Core 2, and in that time, I delved into playing as many Armor Core games as I can because I never heard of the franchise. Fast forward almost a decade later, the PlayStation 3 was released and then a year later they unveiled Armor Core 4. Fast forward another year later for the Xbox 360, we got Armor Core 4 answers. These games right here were the pinnacle high point of the Armor Core series, changing up the gameplay mechanics, making really unique Armor Core machines, you know, the list goes on. But the one thing that definitely was kind of piquing my interest, was there ever any model kits that came out around that time? And thus, my dudes and dudettes, we are going to be building the Armor Core Line Art White Glitch. Now this particular Armor Core unit is very popular in the Armor Core community, probably because of the fact that it's designed drastically difficult from any kind of armor core unit but at the same time it has a really cool gimmick as for the first side of the boxer you get a nice front and back side of the glint unit followed by a whole roster of weapon accessories that comes packed with this core unit and probably by far the most rewarding thing about this model kit is the individual core units now what i mean by that is hence the name armor core is that these particular core units are interchangeable pieces so if you don't like the design you have here you can take existing armor core model kits that are in the marketplace and make your own original one now granted the armor core kits are very expensive but if you have the let us to spin, why not do it? Followed by the other side of the boxer, get a nice shot of two different types of visor, which is kind of strange because the visor in front has more circular dots and this one's more square. Eh, it's fine what it is. While at the same time, give me a small glimpse of a transforming gimmick that I absolutely love about this model kit. So enough about that, what's inside the box? And as always, you are happily greeted with the instruction manual. Very clean aesthetic, very straightforward. I love that. Give you a nice bold look of the white gillet. Love that a little attention to detail. As of the first page, it's pretty bland, while at the same time, give you a complete layout of what you expect for this massive spread of runners for this particular 172 scale model kit. At the same time, give you a nice description of the weapon accessories and a brief description of the core units that are told in this particular instruction manual, which I love that. They didn't need to go that extra step, but they did. As for the whole entire build itself, it is very very complex or something this small, which I do like, but at the same time, there is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to doing this particular build. Next page gives you a nice shot of the front and side of the gillet if you want to do some custom painting, which is great. And then to wrap things up, it gives you a nice diagram to tell you what you can do for the transforming gimmick of tucking in the head into the torso while enabling you, while at the same time encouraging the transforming it into the flight mode, which is great. I think that's probably the one of the most selling features of this particular core unit is that nice transformation. And the fact that it comes with its own action base actually sells it even more so that way if you don't want to keep it in a static pose you can always keep it in a flight mode while on the back part of the back we get it there are open exposing hatches so that we can put in little boosters and then you get a nice side shot at the very end to show that it can look really good when it's in its flight mode now the transforming gimmick itself doesn't seem too difficult on paper but when you actually implement it when it's done it can prove to be a bit tricky but enough about that let's talk about the most important thing of this model kit and that is going to be the runners first runners up, you're going to get a handful of white runners. From first glance, it definitely looks a little intimidating for someone who's actually going to be building their very first armor core for the very first time. You know, if you're comfortable building Gundam model kits and then jumping into armor core, it's drastically different, especially when it comes to the surface detail and the areas that have a great deal of surface detail. Followed by the backside, you're going to get a handful of dark brown runners for the weapon attachments and accessories. Follow my dark gray and dark brown polycaps and dark black pieces for the inner frame section, which shockingly enough, this model kit does not come with its own inner frame. The action base which looks very basic but at the same time it should get the job done more dark brown pieces for the weapon attachments on the shoulder plates and then to wrap things up you get two unique clear runner pieces for the eyes one's going to be the straightforward clear pieces while the other one's going to be a nice soft sky blue which is great because it actually gives you tons and tons of options but shockingly enough when i look at the design and the surface it doesn't retain the small little circle dots like you would see from the promotional work it gives you these nice little rectangular shapes which isn't distracting at all but it's kind of weird how they went with a different drastic shift for a design feature for the visor. Now, with that being said, let's jump into my very first experience of my Armor Core kit. So 
So as always, before I get started building this model kit, I want to take a step back and evaluate which areas I want to tackle first. So it would make sense to tackle the arms and legs first because they have the most renders for this particular build. But at the same time, this actually gives me a good glimpse of what areas I'm going to be needing to apply some glue in specific key areas, particularly the reactors on the shoulder blades and actually sections around the legs. But the area I want to put a lot of emphasis on is going to be the thrusters around the cab section of the area. So I'm going to be drilling a small little hole into that area and then sticking in a small fiber optic cable into that area once it gets fully painted.
We finally reached the part of this model kit that I'm actually super excited to work on, and that's going to be the torso section. Since there's a great deal of cabin space in there, that's going to make wire management a lot easier, while at the same time giving a great range of customization around the backpack units so that way I can sneak in some Pico LEDs for the thrusters. This way, I don't have to compromise the transforming gimmick for the head.
model kit is roughly 95% done it's now time to jump into the one thing that I absolutely love doing on model kits and that's going to be weathering now the weathering technique that I'm going to be applying onto these pieces is not going to be anything too heavy nothing that's going to be too extreme I just want to keep the consistency like you would see in the armor core game armor core for answers you know the white gillet is pretty beat up obviously he's been doing a lot of runs on the field doing what he needs to do as a freelance assassin or a freelance uh, mech pilot I just want to keep that look there and consistent. So what I'm basically going to be applying is a chipping and a dry brush effect. Now for the dry brush, I'm using this very thick bristle brush for the weapon accessories. And for the tight little surface scrapes onto the whole core unit, I'm going to be using dark iron with a fine tip brush onto those specific areas. Now to pull off this effect the way how I wanted to do it, I'm basically going to be using the silver paint and not using any uh, applications. I'm not going to use any pre thinners. I'm just basically going to use the paint itself, lightly dab the brush, brush it off on the paper towel and then just gently gently graze around the section to give a sense that it's been weathered and scraped up in the battlefield you can go a little bit heavier but i'm just trying to keep more of a consistency something more of a storytelling element when i do this weathering
my dudes and dudettes as this video is wrapping up i want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this market so there is a lot of things that needs to be addressed about this model kit especially towards who is this really for is it for beginners casual builders and pros but before i get into that another thing became like a really apparent trend for like a very long time when i announced this kit there's a lot of hate there's a lot of animosity towards this model kit and a lot of it stems from another content creator that did a review on this build so I just want to make it 100% transparent that these are my thoughts, my impressions on this build, not his impressions. Okay, hell, I have not even seen his video on this particular build. So, with that being said, let's jump into this model kit. So, first and foremost, the fun factor for this kit it is absolutely phenomenal. I had zero problems building this model kit. I was absolutely intrigued and just absolutely captivated on how it was designed and what they were able to do at the time when it came to doing injection molding for model kits that are this complex. Taking an actual game model and then making it actual into a physical model was just absolutely incredible what they were doing at the time and I loved that. Understanding the facets of the limitations of the articulation of this model kit was very apparent, you know. The hands don't have any articulation, they're on a ball joint, there's not a good front and side to side crunch, it's very much stuck on a prefix swivel. Um, but it makes up for that with its caveat of additional accessories, you know, you get three different options of clear visors, one blue, one clear, one black, you know, the fit your personal take. Pieces that would, ass assumably would fall off, didn't fall off at all. I had zero problems, zero problems at all. But I did have some issues when it came to the feet. You can't do like a front, back, bend. it's pretty much designed to be flight mode, so you only can swivel it back to keep it in a locked position. So, that's kind of unfortunate. So, putting in dynamic poses, it's going to be extremely constricted. But, it does come with a slew of weapon accessories, particularly like assault rifle that I have not seen since like Armor Core 2, which is great. And then, it makes it up for even more weapon accessories for its bombastic style. So, at the time, it was great, you know? And I love the little aesthetic of little accessories that this model kit comes with. But, another looming part about this model kit that was definitely troublesome is the asking price. So, I have no idea this has anything to do with the fact that the kit has discontinued and that's what's inflated the price over time. But in the time of purchasing this kit, it costs close to three to four hundred dollars. And in the marketplace, there are three different variants of this particular kit there is uh, a pearlescent version, there's one with the extension, I'm sorry, the extension booster that attaches to the back of this particular uh, armor core kit. And then there's the one that I'm working on now, which is like a variant between like a different model with other weapon accessories. But it, it's very expensive and something that close to that much money that doesn't come with any water slide decals yeah you might want to consider buying three other kits that's just me and the reason why i say that is because when it comes to making content for this channel i don't want to boggle down to yes and no you know there always has to be a middle ground because every builder will have a different experience building this model kit one may have a different experience doing a straight up build while another one that does a custom job like yours truly will just have a different facet of, of exploration of, of really appreciating this mech design which i have you know is this a hard kit it can be depending on where your skill level is and that's the reason why i really tout it towards the expert and the casual builders casual builders specifically because you know there is a point when you build more and more kits you can want to try to upgrade your game and try to get better and try to explore other facets of other mech designs pros will love the challenge regardless because they can do all kinds of weathering and scraping chipping effects to their heart's desire but when it comes down to the beginners people that do have the extra spending money that probably want to buy for the bragging rights but just don't have any experience beyond a model kit but they saw it on the game they like it and they want to keep it for their collection without a doubt you're going to have issues without a doubt you're going to have uh, a lot of hate and animosity towards this kit because your skill level is not at par like what you would see on the promotional worker like what you saw in the video game and you're going to kind of feel like you wasted money and, uh, and i don't want you to feel that way when you're buying this kit so for those who actually are considering buying this kit, start with something else different and then work your way up. You know, time is precious right now and we need to value it as much as we can when it comes to building this model kit. So if that means dedicating like two or three hours a day on this one kit and you want to do maybe three or four more the following day, that's the beauty of building model kits is you're taking your time, you're learning from your mistakes, you're growing from the experience at the same time, you're piquing that interest of wanting to try something new and exciting. 
I mean, when you look at it in hindsight, I had to literally wait for almost 15 years of finally building this kit. I ain't waiting no more longer. <laughs> I don't know why my voice got like that. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, gosh. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do apologize. It was a little bit lengthy and, and very... Uh, very straightforward. I usually don't have that kind of energy when I do these videos. So I usually keep things upbeat, but uh, the the drama behind this build is real, and I just want to get my two cents out there. But if there was one little advice I would want to give you, dudes and dudettes, don't narrow your perspective on just like one or two or three content creators. Broaden out your horizons and look at other facets out there. There are tons of talented women and men that do these kits and other kits in between. And they deserve the utmost love and attention as much as you guys are giving me. So keep your minds open for that. And as always, do me a dudes and do us a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Please like and share it amongst your friends and family. Those who have interest into the hobby of building model kits. And I will see you dudes and do that on the next bit.